last week, my brother sent me a text message and he said, did you know that trauma gets baked into three generations of DNA? And I said, oh gosh, where does it begin though? And where does it end, right? And I think that the ripple effect of that statement really can cause a lot of anxiety when you're parenting um, the next generation. And so I had to take myself out of that for a minute and I had to say, no, no, it stops with me. Doesn't really matter. I don't care. It stops with me. And it's my commitment to parenting differently that makes all the difference. I think everyone has this ability to make a choice. And so for me, the choice really boils down to when I wake up in the morning, am I committed to parenting differently? And if I am, then that is enough. And it takes so much faith to believe that that choice, that intention is really enough, right? I mean, my choices every day, my effort every day, it's enough. Because what it actually does, that intention, is it inspires me to action. And every day, even if I mess up 300 times, I know that the 200 times that I did something really great are going to make a difference. And generational change doesn't happen overnight. And I'm not going to see it every day. It's not going to be something that I can say, oh, wow, there it is. My kid magically knows how to come to me when they're feeling upset instead of going and hiding alone, right? It doesn't happen overnight like that, but it does happen over time. And I have to believe that in order to keep going, right? We all do. We need faith in the goodness of our hearts, the goodness of the hearts of the people that we care for. Um, and we have to have faith that we can do it. And the way that I do it is I make sure that when I wake up and I make that commitment to parenting differently, that I'm meeting my own needs first. And that does mean that I've had to get up earlier and earlier over the years. But for me, my need is alone time. That's one of the most important things that I need because I grew up in a chaotic family of five kids. I was the oldest and I never had time alone. And so now I make sure that I get up and I go and I find my space to be alone. I do my journaling. I do my gratitude, gratitude journaling. I write down 10 things every morning I'm grateful for. And I reorient my mindset. And the rest really boils down to believing that my inner goodness and my inner love is enough for these kids. And that even when I mess up, saying sorry is enough. And even when they mess up, letting them mess up is okay too. And it really does boil down to having a deep, deep commitment to faith.